guys, Stephanie Tibbetts, nurse practitioner here with Clear Cut Medicine. So we're, today we're going to talk about, well, the kidneys. So they're such an intricate organ, it actually requires two specialties in order to take care of them. So if you find that you have a kidney problem, where do you go? Well, there is the urologists that actually look at the structural aspects of the kidney, and then you have the nephrologists that actually look at the intrinsic workings of how the kidneys actually are processing things like fluid, electrolytes, blood pressure management, and uh, clearing of waste products. So the urologist handles more of the structural issues that you have with either the kidney, ureter, bladder, urethra, and the prostate in males, of course. So to put it the most simply, nephrology are basically the controllers of the water filtration, that's your urine, and urologists are like the plumbers, okay? They keep everything flowing throughout the entire urinary tract. Okay, so today, like I said, we're gonna talk about how nephrology focuses most on function. So when you would go see a nephrologist is if you're having a decrease in your kidney function. So that would be shown on your lab work known as the creatinine or the GFR, which is, stands for the glomerular filtration rate. That's something that you would discuss with your doctor and see if going to a nephrologist is appropriate for you. Also, dialysis. If you're on dialysis, you absolutely have to have a nephrologist on board in order to organize your dialysis and all of the things that come along with being on dialysis. Then you would also come for electrolyte problems. So any kind of problems with sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, it's all done by the nephrologist, okay? In addition, you would also come for any kind of uncontrolled blood pressures. Now, this is not uncontrolled blood pressures as in like, oh, I take one medicine and gosh, I just can't get my blood pressure under control. No, we're talking four medicines and your blood pressure is still giving you problems, okay? And so lastly, the other thing would be for kidney stones. Now, if you look at the board, you'll see that kidney stones come under both a nephrologist and a urologist. So why is that? Because the urologists, remember, they're gonna be the plumbers, they're gonna be the ones that are going to get that stone out of the ureter or out of the kidney, blast it, retrieve it, what have you. And then what you would do is follow up with a nephrologist in order to figure out why you're making these stones because it shows that there's a defect in your urine that makes you make stones. All right, so when we talk about urologists, we would go see them for any kind of urinary tract problem. Like I said, anything with the kidneys, ureter, bladder, prostate, urethra, okay? So you would also see them for any kind of cysts or masses. So to determine if uh, the mass on your bladder or your kidney is cancer, you would see a, a urologist. And then if you ended up having to have any kind of surgery on the kidney, again, that would be the urologist. Any kind of urine flow problems, such as issues with neurogenic bladder, you can't empty your bladder, um, any kind of prostate problems like we talked about earlier. And then also, like I said, bladder or kidney cancer. All right, guys, so that's about it. This is helping you decide whether you need to go to a nephrologist or a urologist. I hope I helped you out in some way. If so, leave a comment or hit the subscribe button down below. Thanks and have a great day.